I think one of the biggest problems for the car section on the MCAT is not necessarily like the difficulty of the passages, but how boring they are. I mean, maybe to some people they're not boring, but to me they were incredibly boring and I zoned out so much so that when I got to the questions, like I struggled at getting a main idea. And if you've watched any of IFD's stuff, then you know that we are obsessed with the main idea, obsessed with getting the main idea. But if you're zoning out in the passage, then obviously you're not going to be able to do that. So if you are one of those students who finds themselves zoning out a lot in passages and you maybe you're thinking that you're just a bad reader. You're not. It's just that you're not trained to read this kind of material. Like we don't read a ton of this stuff going through like pre-med curriculum and passages about philosophy and history and paleontology. Like they just don't stick as well for us. Most of us at least. But honestly like the car section like is thought of as like a reading comprehension sort of thing but i don't know that it's necessarily i don't know if that's the right way to describe it because truly the mcat does not care if you remember the details of the passage it doesn't care if you learned anything about paleontology it cares if you caught the structure and the arguments and the intentions of the author it just wants you to be able to extract a very specific thing from the passage and i think that a lot of students are zoning out on the mcat or zoning out in the car section specifically because you're reading without a goal in mind. You're reading to understand the passage and that's not actually what you should be doing, in my opinion. If you're wondering who I am or why my opinion matters at all, I'm Maggie, I'm a fourth year medical student. I was a professional MCAT tutor for before starting med school and now I've been doing this business and this channel with my brother John for like, we just hit our fourth birthday on YouTube. So around four to four and a half years. I scored a 526 in my own MCAT way back in the day. And now that we've been creating products and YouTube videos for so long, I feel like I still got it. And today's gonna be kind of a quick video because I literally have to leave for the hospital in like 10 minutes. But I think this is an important one to get out there. So if you're not supposed to be reading to understand the passage in a car's passage, then what are you supposed to be doing? And most importantly, how can you sort of enter a passage with purpose so that you're not zoning out in the middle all the time? It's probably gonna happen a little bit, but you can lessen it, I think. This is how I did it, at least. So John and I have talked on this channel about the core four of CARS. It's what our CARS AI tutor is built around. It's what a lot of our videos about CARS talk about. And it is the four most important things in a CARS passage that you need to understand in order to get questions right. I don't care if you understand the passage. And that is, most importantly, the main idea. Of course, that's the author's central claim. That's what they're trying to get across. If they were in an elevator for 15 seconds and they could only say one thing to get the point across, this is what they would say. It's the main idea. Things that are also important are things like the tone of the author. What's their vibe? How do they feel about the subject? Another one is arguments. So these are specific claims that the author gives support to within the passage that are smaller than the main idea. Sometimes they sort of make up the main idea, but not all the time. And then there are author's intentions, which is sort of like, it sort of just rounds it out. You're not gonna get many questions on the MCAT that are like, what was the intention of the author for writing this passage? You may get some that are like, why did the author include this quote or something like that? But in general, the author's intentions are like, are they trying to just inform you of this? Or are they trying to flip your opinion of this? And I think it goes hand in hand with tone as well. We have tons of videos on the core four if you need more explanation than that. Or you want to know like how to get those four out of a passage. But in order to stop yourself from zoning out on passages, you need to enter passages with a strong goal. And hear me out, because this is starting to sound a little cliche. You're gonna have a mission from the moment you start reading the passage, and it is not to understand the passage, it's not to soak in the material, it is to fill out the core four. You're extracting information, you're sort of like almost like building a puzzle. And every paragraph or every new thought that the author has, you need to ask yourself, did this help me build the main idea? Did the tone shift because of this sentence? Is this a new argument, a new counterpoint? Or why did the author include this quote or this example or this idea? And the reason why this helps like us science-minded people a lot, I think is because like it's, it's almost like shifting it into the science-y realm is how I think of it. We love our lists, we love our data points. And so turn the cars passages into that. And I talk a lot in other videos about how to do this with the main idea specifically because probably 80% of CARS questions are asking about the main idea in some way, shape, or form. I made a video called This Is How You Do CARS Passages probably like a year and a half or so ago that did really well. And I think the reason why it did is because 
people have this problem with zoning out during passages and I think that it gives you a purpose when you're going through the passage. It gives you something to do. It's almost like your mind is more stimulated because you're remembering, hey, I'm not reading this stupid passage about dinosaur bones. I am filling out this passage because I'm gonna have questions at the end that are asking about this, this, this. And once you're done kind of filling out this structure, filling out your core four, the questions become way easier because they are asking about this core four. So you're sort of reverse engineering it, right? Like these questions, like you are starting like, okay, the way that we teach cars is like this because this is the way the questions are. And like I said, we don't care if you understand or care about the passage at all. We just care if you get the questions right. So whatever the questions are asking, that's the structure that you should be building out in your head. And once you hit the questions, if you already have that in there, you can just almost pick and pull and be like, oh, this question is, I can see how it's asking about the main idea. Here's my main idea. I'm going to pick it and pull it and find the answer choice that matches it. This is not only going to help with zoning out because you're in the passages and you don't have a goal. This is going to help with spending way too much time on questions. This is going to help with feeling confused once you're in the questions or getting confuzzled because there's too many like opposing opinions in all the different distractor choices. You just got to stay like locked in to the point of the car's passage. Fill out your core four, then answer the questions with it, period, point blank. You have a strong enough attention span to get through it. I promise it's a four minute long passage. You can watch TikTok videos now that are longer than that. It's just your strategy. You just have to flip your mindset when you're going into the passage. Don't read to understand, read to answer questions. Okay, I told you guys that that was gonna be a quick video, but if you like it and you wanna see more stuff like this, just follow or subscribe or whatever. Like this video, watch some of our other stuff, send it to your friends, and comment what else you want to see. All right, I really got to go to the hospital now, but um, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.